it. I think it's fair to say that I am an Alessandro Galtieri fanboy. One thing that I love about Alessandro is the process of creation. I love the fact that he is driven by creativity. There's an awesome documentary called Searching for Blamage. The word blamage is German. It means embarrassment or disgrace. At the start of the movie, he actually says, no, 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 it's not about that. It's about happy failures. It's about, you know, finding uh, there are mistakes that sometimes happen in life. He even references that the poison, the actual perfume by Christian Dior, was, an, was a happy mistake. So he's trying to find, in, in searching for Blumhouse, he's trying to find that happy mistake by getting these different ingredients to create something. However, by the end of the actual movie, the feeling that, that I got at least, and I'm curious to know if anyone else has watched it, what's your take on it, the feeling that I get is frustration from him. It was a whole year that they were filming this, and still Blumhouse hadn't taken shape. And by the end, he, Alessandro is lamenting the weight of creativity and that sometimes that, you know, for, for himself, that he puts all this weight upon himself to create something that is you, uh, unique, uh, different, and, you know, and obviously exciting. him. So could it be that Blamage, in fact, is embracing imperfection? If you look at these lids, all the Blamage lids are unique and different, and if anything, they're haphazard. And I know the one in, on the website, there's this big gnarly looking branch sort of coming out of it. This one here has a cut, like someone accidentally cut into it. Um, so could, it, could this fragrance be about embracing chaos or embracing mistakes? It is a fragrance or it is a perfume. Um, so yeah, we can speculate as to what it was all about. But as a perfume, does it work is the question. Okay, so the answer for me is yes, it opens up very fruity to the point that I almost feel like I'm getting some kind of stone fruit leaning towards a peachy side. But on the dry down, I'm getting the florals, I'm getting uh, that slight fruit is still in there, but it's, it's come down and I'm getting the woods. It's like a sandal wood, like a guyac wood, something of that nature. This is a perfect, to my, in my books, this is a perfect autumn, fall kind of fragrance. This is a perfect, uh, early spring, so at the moment, Melbourne is a little bit on the cold side. It's working fantastic over these last, well, has been working fantastic over these last few days. As an evening fragrance, fantastic. As an office fragrance, spectacular. Its sillage is between body and moderate, so it's definitely not a body scent. People are picking up my, of the fragrance when I'm wearing it, but it definitely not at the big, sort of uh, moderate level where it sort of really pushes itself out. When it comes to its longevity, I get good mileage out of this. I'm getting five to six hours. However, that is deceptive because at the end of the evening as I'm getting changed and uh, putting my jammies on, um, I'm actually still smelling blamage. As I'm moving my clothes around, I can actually pick up and that's probably 10 to 12 hours in. I am a fan of Blumage. I do like the happy mistake. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? And I've read some reviews that they absolutely love this. Others are going, eh, not so much for them. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you all on the next episode. Yeah. Yeah.